Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next episode of the Apex Show. I hope you're doing great. And today is a special episode because I have some pretty exciting news, at least from my side. And um, yeah, I just, just want to break down a few things. Mainly the topic of this uh, podcast should be just really not resting on your morals, laurels and, and just... Um, yeah, I kind of like just pretty exciting news this morning, randomly checked my email inbox and just received a message that I was accepted in the first out of three rounds, out of like like a lot of applicants, I guess like hundreds of applicants, um, just to the first 25 spots into, into the, one of the best marketing m- masters in the world, uh, the 10th best one and um yeah just like was pretty surprised that um it kind of like it just happened this fast since i was even preparing um, just to take a further examination or just like other stuff that they require uh, or just like maybe require uh in terms of what what's what's kind of like required and uh, yeah it was just like an in- interesting and uh just want to share with you a few few snippets of 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 just like this, this whole process, how it, how it happened, and even like my point of view on that. Great. Uh, so just to start off, I I have prepared like five main points that I like to be speaking about today, and all of them are kind of relevant to this this specific topic. The first one is maybe like just in terms of education, what has education really given to me? Uh, like what, what are the specifics? Because currently we're living in the world where like you have different opposites of people saying that education is kind of good, education is bad. In terms of, I already in previously recorded a few episodes about education, what's my point of view, in terms of what, what's the role of education in, in terms of the progress that's currently happening in the world and also in our future. Then point number two is how should I approach, um, or maybe like how would I specifically have approached it differently if I would be doing it differently or if I would be just standing in front of my previous self and just have the opportunity to speak to his mind or just like just give him some advice what specific pieces of advice would I give him in terms of like maybe meeting my 18 year old self uh, 17 year old self uh, something like that then point number three what's um uh, yeah what, what master's degrees I was essentially even thinking of um, applying for then for how does this like play with my long-term focus or essentially like just how do I see the sequential out here um, the individual steps how do they play together with my long-term vision and the fifth one why yeah why you're most fragile and susceptible to failure when you're on the top and maybe just for the sake of being really uh, just, just getting down to the most important stuff right in the be- in the beginning i'll just like definitely dive into this this is like point number five right right now because that's even something that i feel very strongly today and this is something that has affected me so freaking much in my life like there are just these different times that you just um like for example for me like just essentially like growing up being pretty always in the in, in the back backwards like just not backwards but always in the back never having that kind of like light on me and always just gonna be wanted to more express myself um being kind of like a shy kid and not really confident in many ways and and like just then, then achieving like or maybe like just getting into a certain circle of people and just like doing certain things like there, there were certain period, periods of my life where I just really started to think of myself too much I would say and like when you achieve something when you achieve something great then you're like really the most fragile you're the most you're the closest to failure because like as I maybe as you maybe even heard in one of the previous episodes or maybe also from somewhere else it's just like you have two different types of success the first one is like okay you achieve it it's binary you achieve it and then then it's like okay gone but at the same time like just the best way you can really pursue success is like success that never ends and it is like the the the, the kind of um the concept that the only way how we can succeed is to just okay keep succeeding every single day and just just do this for uh until the end of the day so i mean like definitely it's just like okay not nothing really changes you you achieve something you maybe achieve something that's that you really wanted to achieve for a very long time and now it's just just your 
um, kind of like your thing, what you do with that next. Like if you, um, if you just less, lessen your rest in your laurels and, um, kind of b- become complacent, start partying too much, start celebrating too much, uh, too early, or whether you just keep your, uh, like kind of habits and just like really keep the, the train going and just everything, all the momentum that you've created until now, you just take it to the next level and, um, just, I mean, keep, keep running with what you already got. So, out of everything like that, like the last week, and we've just made in, in both in school, in, in school, but also in, in like other projects that I've been working on or I'm working on right now, it's like we made so significant progress. Like, like we we have hit such milestones that I didn't even see it coming, and it just even though I I like feel felt kind of great, at the same time I just like started to feel even more confused and stressed out than before uh, like essentially like these days like weren't really like that that good for me um and even like for for example for today like today was a very hard day for me not maybe from the the fact that okay you achieved something but it's, or maybe i'm not sure if i achieved something it's just like okay they decided whether i was worth enough candidate to be selected in the like in the first first selection procedure out of like I'm not sure even how many people, but I'm, I was like maybe mainly for me today, like the self discipline that was just so freaking hard. Now I'm just being super honest. Um, yeah, great. I'm working on nine times. I'm working on nine years and just like uh, doing doing all kind of weird stuff. But at the same time, it's just like today was a really 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 hard day for me. Um, mainly from the topic that okay, you you just like have certain kind of procedures and goals that you're pursuing but at the same time okay you just like it's kind of like okay things change and the environment changes and now you need to like change your whole strategies and for example for me I already had kind of like split my day into multiple kind of um, parts so that I can work on different kind of stuff but now even in terms of like the examinations and like all the other stuff that I mainly for school now speaking should have been doing like they just kind of get salt so now just like really redirecting the energy to, to different parts that are uh that are going to be requiring the energy for me at least that that's like my point of view on this do i maybe like just to answer a question like do i really feel good um also like hard to say um i'm, I'm still thinking whether this is the best shot for me in terms of marketing i really feel that Even in terms of like passions, it's maybe maybe this this could be a great question to elaborate on further. Like whether you have passions and whether you have things that you are innately good at, I would say it's very questionable. Because even though like okay, you are many people when you, like when you when you're doing these exercises about exercises about trying to identify your passions from the past, it just you're always thinking about okay, like you just like. The people tell you you should think about what you've been really good at when you were young or what you really enjoyed when you were young. But actually the thing is that like the more hours you put into something, the better you get. And the better you get, usually the more you start to enjoy those things because you're actually good at them. And you enjoy the things you're bad at less. A great example, I was when I started selling when I was like 17, 18, I'm not sure. I was just like so freaking bad and I hated selling. I was afraid of, I was terrified of selling that as the time progressed and I got better, I'm just like, now I just want to sell. And and that's, that's it. Like it just, that, that, that's a part of my life or just part of my personality. Just, I, I love it. It's even, <laughs> even today, a very, uh, a very, um, interesting call. I, I ordered one, um, like one program, one conference for like 2k or so. Uh, in April in Miami, uh, it's like a business growth conference, growth hacking or something. And just like three hours after I ordered that, a salesperson called me and wanted to upsell me for another 2K, uh, just a special special package or something. And 
from my point of view, I just like was super excited to speak him, to speak to him because I just like, okay, so like, okay, he's using the attack technique. He's, he's try, trying to circle me down. And now he's trying to like use the yes, yes tactic where he's like just trying to make me answer to as many questions as possible uh, after each other, like just so that I answer yes. And like just, you just start seeing these different patterns. And even for me, it's just such a craft just to be able to speak to other people. And even the salesmanship, it's one of the, if you look at all the, at least for me, like all the greatest people in the world are able to sell stuff. If you look at Steve Jobs or maybe all the other stuff, uh, all the other people as well, like you can have a great idea, but if you're not able to sell the idea to other people, like to investors, to 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 anyone else, I mean, like you're not able to express the full potential of that idea. And I really feel that this is one of the greatest ways of the potential we have here. Just, okay, there's just so much potential inside of us and we're just not really able to express that. And I really feel that this is where we as humans are lacking. And even in terms of sales, I was even thinking of, okay, let's start teaching other people how to sell because it's just a, such a basic skill that will help you in anything. It's like just one of those basic skills, maybe an upgrade or top up of communication. Just if you know how to sell, if you know how to sell, you, you can like, for example, solve your relationships. You can solve your, even once you'll have kids, maybe you'll have kids in the future and okay, what you're going to do, how you're going to tell those kids to study, how you're going to tell those kids or just show those kids, maybe there's leadership involved in this as well, but how you're going to tell them just, or, or just sell them the idea of actually like going to school and, and just like maybe sell them the idea of doing their homework or whatever else, like you, you're just going to need to force them or, or show them what they need to do. And, or even like definitely business, it's, it's all about sales. If you can you can have like two people who have, or you can have the, maybe this could be a great idea. Like you, you can have a person who has a great idea, who is like maybe straight days in school, who um, like super great, talented, he's, he's the genius. And at, at the same time, you can have a guy who's like failing school, maybe a high school dropout. And if both of, and he can, might, he might have a maybe similar idea in a similar sphere, but definitely less more complicated and less more, more like worse in quality and everything else. That if the person who has dropped out of high school and he's just able to sell and just is really good in sales, salesmanship, then that person will win and will sell more than actually the, the person who has crafted something great. And this is even like that kind of thing. Like it's great to elevate your potential of actually becoming like really super great. But at the same time, it's just like not waiting for the per perfect time when you will be able to just kind of uh, be, be the perfect human being and being able to express all of your talents or whatever. It's just trying to kind of find a healthy balance between two, these two just kind of elements and, and then just really trying to try to find the best best way how to move forward with this. Yeah, so might be. What else do I have here? Yeah, it's it's like just maybe one one, one additional fact that I, I like to add, or maybe just my my additional point of view is that just it's really interesting just to observe that I was much higher in motivation when things I'm, I, I have much more motivation when things aren't going right. And it's, it's even the, the thing, like when things aren't going right, you, you're sometimes able just to force yourself to do the things you would never ever do before. And I really find this as one of the greatest successful, um, like just character traits, just doing the stuff you don't want to do. <laughs> and the more you train yourself to be disciplined and, and just do the stuff you don't want to do, the better you will actually be. And, and just the, the more wealth, whatever you want to create, whatever you want to consider as wealth, if, if that's money for you, if that's health, if there's relationship, if that's experiences you're, you're going to create. It's pretty simple. Um, 
yeah, just like when you're really forced to make things happen, regardless of what the external circumstances dictate you, you're just gonna, you're just decided and you're just making stuff happen. And you're, you're all in and you're just like fully dedicated and on this mission, going to finish it, regardless of what's gonna happen. And maybe just to circle back in terms of Great Edge, for example, like this was a great goal. I, I had on my, not vision board, I don't use that anymore. It's just like I had it on my like kind of to-do list just to, just to do this. And we did that. So um, even like the plan for me stays pretty much the same. It's just like based on all the observations I did, it's just like the more hours I put in, the more I, the more essentially I get out. And it's just about really finding those 10,000 hours and putting them into your craft, into meaningful actions. And if you do that, then you're going to create something great. It's just 10,000 hours and allocating every second of, of every single day just in the most, in the best way possible. And then just doing this for a long enough period of time and you're, you'll be surprised what you create. Um maybe just to build up on this for example even today even though my plan kind of for the holiday kind of got, got shifted because in the middle of a, as i was uh doing recap for one exam i just like got a message that okay i actually don't need to take that exam anymore even though i paid hundreds of of, of euros for kind of like different kind of weird materials that i used to study for that as well as just write so many different books on that and I, now it's essentially like useless for me. I mean, I learned some stuff, but at, at the same time, it's just like I don't need it anymore. Um, one great thing that I started kind of doing when I have a bit more free time here and there is just listening to these these kind of books, but not notebooks. I really think that um, now I'm really more interested in the actual science behind the things. I've been always interested in science, but now I'm like just actually becoming more factual. And I really feel that it, it has benefited my life from a from a big part. Just really coming down to the ground of what's actually creating results and becoming less vague in terms of, for example, doing routines, doing certain routines and doing them because you think they're gonna kind of improve your performance. On the other hand, just not real, relying on the actual hard facts, for example, on what's your inputs, what are your outputs, and all of these things and I'm not sure I just like in the last last period of time I just like really became interested in certain topics for example um, artificial intelligence just really trying to understand what's behind that and um, just today finished one textbook it was a huge page it was like freaking huge um, like 700 pages 750 pages of of like stuff about AI and like it was great because I even feel like reading that's maybe one of those I even mentioned that I'll be speaking about the things that I will actually just encourage or just give the give a better advice to my younger self to actually do but like now looking back it's it's very hard just based on the place where I was kind of like growing up and the environment it would be very hard for me to actually do that so like just reading in general for example for me uh, listening to audiobooks is, is something that works for me even better I'm able to just get through materials just so much faster and even the comprehension and the, the amount of information and actionable advice I'm able to take out of the books is much much higher um and I, yeah, at the same time, I, I like to be active. So I just don't, don't like to be sitting for four hours. And it just like um, drains my energy and I don't really feel great afterwards. So in terms of, yeah, maybe like just to share a few tip, a few, few, few things, for example, from the book about AI, like some of the biggest takeaways that I had from there is that as we progress forward, we just need like the main thing main thing that we need to really focus on even when I, where I see myself is just really helping people to unlock their full potential in terms of education as as the cornerstone of everything else that happens and just recreating really an efficient education system that firstly like trains young kids just to be able to contribute value to the society as well as trains 
retrains people um, just to be able to, like maybe the older generation, not even older, it's just, okay, if people are 40 years old and they're going to retire when they're 65, they still have 25 years of actually the, the time that they'll be working. And at the same time, you know, just in this time, they can be contributing value. And the way how they will be doing that is that You just need to like teach them some stuff, for example, artificial intelligence, like re-education programs. And this will be really huge. It's even getting kind of big with Coursera and like all of these different companies that are rising very fast. But still, it's I would say like it's just very broad, not really specified, and this area will move forward even more. And this is like the one thing, but at the same time, it's just like really giving the people or guiding the people in the right way. Um, I would say like, I can just be so grateful, uh, to some of my biggest mentors in my life. For example, um, just today, also one of the first people I texted was my mentor. I not, I guess I never even disclosed his identity, but I kind of like pretty much very appreciated and we can have like relationship together that I'm not really sharing anything about um kind of like happens between us um here essentially anywhere on social me- social media and he was one of the first people i uh, i texted that okay i just got accepted and i'm super stoked about that and he told me like he, he was actually the guy who told me that i should get back to uni even though i didn't really um just see that coming from his side so i just went back to uni uh from bali i just like went back to uni and uh, now one and a half years later, it's just like, okay, this turned out to be, to be kind of good, just, just being accepted in one to one of the best, um, marketing programs out there. So, um, it's, it's kind of like, I've been just maybe steered in, in a kind of like wrong direction many times in my life. Uh, but at the same time, it's just even as I was speaking about the, like the talents, it's it's not about just finding the things you you are good at. It's more about creating those things because you can. I, I am convinced that even though I'm not really super passionate about, for example, medicine and biology and all that stuff, if you would give me like five years, or if I would be 18 again, I, I just I would just have the right mindset. Until 23, I would be able to become one of the biggest experts on on like medicine and this stuff. Why? Because. And I would genuinely enjoy that. Now I don't enjoy that because I know nothing about that. But if I would just have the opportunity to get deeper in those things and just like experience a few successes, then I would be just super stoked about that. And that, that's kind of like great. Even in terms of like the AI, the AI book, like AI will replace us. But there's also this kind of greater vision that we as a humanity are striving for, for example, um, just sustainable a living or maybe just eliminating a lot of pain from the uh, i would say like eliminating a lot of pain giving people more more vision uh, more like just excitement for for certain things as well as eliminating the pain that i was speaking about is just like there's if you if you think about that like even it's Maybe now I'm like just even thinking about this. I'm just really disappointed in us as humans, and just it's even kind of just really sad from a certain point of view. Is that if you look at us as humans, we think that we have bad lives. That now that okay, if you aren't a millionaire, if you aren't driving a Lambo, if you are not the most sexy person alive, if you are. Uh, if you don't have friends, you have a horrible life. Like you, many people think that, and even like. I kick myself in the ass a lot of times just not being grateful enough for the, all the things that I have because you just get so much, so freaking fi- fixated on everything, all your problems, even though your problems aren't really your problems, that you just don't really realize the bigger context, that you're simply an animal as well. Just an animal that 10,000 years ago, maybe like a few hundred thousand years ago, uh, was gifted by special cognitive abilities that enable us to think in a bigger uh, way, uh, group together, create clusters of like communities, and those clusters within the period of tens of thousands of years have eventually led us to this advanced society that has emerged in the past 300 years. And, and that like just blows my mind. 
And if you just think about how much pain there is going into everything, like just that's going into the sustaining of, of this whole the just ecosystem that's around us, it's just mind blowing that you have like for example in terms of animals how many animals every single year die just to be able to sustain the human population it's just mind-blowing um i mean like we are we as humans are carnivores slash herbivores which means that we eat both plants and 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 like flesh like meat at the same time like just since we as a species have grown so much and in such a short period of time our food consumption needs have gone up also as well and which has left let's do like just production led facilities for production of meat and it's 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 very hard just to be able to describe this if you think about the biological um, just way how this works that you are essentially just like just creating farms for meat which is that you're you are just taking like just other living beings who have the same i'm not sure like uh for sure animals have have certain maybe feelings but i'm not sure, maybe maybe they have maybe they don't have i'm not really a specialist in this but at the same time it's just like a living human being it's not human being but it's a living being and it's like for example just just like cows or like beef or whatever else you have there and you're just taking them and like you're just like slaughtering whole families and even in terms of like all other like chickens and whatever else like there there's just so much pain happening and it's just so morbid just to even think about this and even in terms of fish like imagine like you're a f- fish swimming around and then um maybe like whole families and everything else just just get get like kind of netted out of the sea it's Maybe like this sounds kind of weird and just you might be thinking what I what am I even speaking about? But in terms of like just really being empathetic, I would say maybe that that's the right word. I really feel that it is kind of bad. And even in terms of the, the advancements of like just different other more sustainable and advanced food production facilities, like for example, just growing meat in labs and and just th- this kind of things, it's just, okay, that, that will be the future. And okay, if you just grow meat on a Petri dish, I mean, no one will get hurt, which is great. So I really feel that like, just even as I explained in the previous episode, like that, that amount of like pleasure you can get on, a, on an individual level from getting from like 90% of, of satisfaction and like all the feelings you can experience on, on just living a basic life not, not basic life i mean like today you can experience anything you have you can you can essentially experience anything you can go and meet this the biggest celebrities in the world and and just take photos with them for like maybe like it's very similar to the conference i bought today for 2 2k pop it's just you could you go there and you have all of these big hollywood actors and whatever else they're like 50 cent uh, uh donald trump what else is here? Uh, Kevin Hart. Just some these big singers and like pop stars, Jason Derulo. And just you have all of all of, all of these people go, coming there. You can take photos with them, chat with them. And it's just like um, there are many more ways that like these kind of basic needs could be fulfilled from a certain degree. And I would like just just there's just like still so so many problems to solve and just to be able to tackle those problems we need more educated people but at the same time it's just like adopting a whole different mindset mindset at the same time it's just like as i said like you can really train yourself to lot like anything and since the more you do stuff if you do like if you do 10,000 hours in something you'll you'll most likely end up loving that it's the same same concept like if you just spend a lot of time, if, for example, if you would just be in an isolated location with, like, if you would put, like, just male and female, like, just maybe, like, woman and, and a guy and, and in an isolated location, like, those two guys will most likely end up together. 
uh, together. The reason for that is like the more time you spend with someone else, the bigger trust you actually create to that person and also you end up liking them more which is like a psychological effect. And the same they, the same thing happens with just all of these other things. So uh, maybe like you can then also kind of like re- reiterate these these kind of concepts and, and just see how the, how they apply to different um, just kind of parts. Yeah, but like just definitely going away from the topic. So which would be really aimed for, aimed on not becoming complacent and just really striving for goals and just keeping attacking them regardless of whether you're, um, just, just kind of succeeding or whether you're not succeeding. I really just feel that like, just the future is so exciting. And even for me, like the best thing I can be doing right now is to just, just, just kind of getting the most either experience or just, or, or just like really, um, how do you even say that? Knowledge, knowledge from the right sources. So even that's the reason why I'm just like, uh, spending so much time, money and everything else on these things. And in terms of getting into the right rooms, I have heard it. It's, it's not that much about the knowledge that you you learn there. It's not that much about the knowledge that you learn there uh, in going to these conferences and stuff. It's much more about the beliefs that you acquire there. And these beliefs and the identity that you acquire there are going to propel you so much further, more than you could have ever imagined. And... That was even the, the kind of like the thing I experienced in Orlando. Like once you meet all these heroes or maybe the people you have watched or who have been your mentors for a long period of time and then you just meet them, it just kind of sets the dynamics in a whole different way because you can be just watching videos endlessly, but it won't change your identity that much. On the other hand, if you just go into the terrain and meet those people, it just shifts, shifts your dynamics so much. And you're just, <clears throat> for example, for me, from my personal view, you, you just realize that those people are n- not any different than you are. And if they have achieved kind of like those things that they have achieved with them being very normal, then that kind of gives you more power or more competence to actually go out to the terrain and, and just do some stuff yourself. And it's, up to you just 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 what you do with that even in terms of not well, today yes yesterday uh we had a like, like just a call not call it was it was a conference or a small like uh, q a session live at our campus with uh, founders that have raised uh like something like 75 million euros at least one 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 of those founders have raised has raised 75 million euros for one of his projects and like there was a discussion going on between multiple entrepreneurs, like where even in terms of me being being for a bit further ahead and in the seven and eight eight figure mark, maybe some nine and ten figure mark. And it's it's just like like the main difference, uh, or maybe it sounds one point that they really pointed out is just like really being becoming really clear about what you want. And what you want will most definitely change as well. It just like sometimes it might be way better just to uh, have kind of like a just just enjoy life at for example being at 10k a month uh, and and just like have all those basic needs satisfied. Whereas when you're really just going to this next league, like there are certain things that are kind of breaking apart in terms of maybe your personal well-being. That if you have like kind of like a graph and a curve that okay, your your happiness or utility of money or whatever, you can call it however you want, is going up on only until a certain point, but then it starts going down because the amount of complexity and the amount of responsibility that rests on your shoulders gets to, to a such a high degree that then this will have a, a certain toll on your other aspects of your life. But on the other hand, there's just like this bigger... Um, bigger feeling and that's essentially like you're just creating something great and even in terms of like okay you have just certain number of days uh, that you have left every single one of us and it's just about you how you utilize these days what you want to be doing how you want to spend them how you want to invest them what you want to be doing and it's just about you what kind of shots you make and what kind of shots you take 
every single person can can have a different life and that that's okay but it's it's just like you you really really have to become cautious about how you're spending your days and maybe hours and seconds as well because you're not going to get them back so just, just could be a great great point of food of food for thought for you just to think about okay great what do you actually want to be spending your life on like if if just maybe getting like just acquiring or achieving your financial goals and and then what like just are you going to be now traveling the world living in thailand and what are you going to be doing in thailand like that was the same thing that i experienced like you just go to bali everything is like so great there it's too great to be true i guess maybe for many people like just such a great food like so much entertainment you can do whatever the heck you want you're like a king there when you come there even if you earn like 2k a month like those people around you are on average earning like 100 euros a month so you're like a king there and so you can do whatever the heck you want that's the first part the second part is that Yeah, for me, for example, I just wasn't challenged there. And that was the problem for me. I just wanted challenges. I just wanted to create something. And, and just like really having a bigger vision that towards which you're working on that, I really feel that that could be one of the biggest biggest things. It, it's essentially like, as I explained, like there are these different kind of problems that we are working towards solving in terms of sustainability and um, like just maybe different kind of um marks that we are uh, as humanity are trying to solve or just the tackle or just to achieve by a certain point of time and it's just uh, just upon us how we actually go and go and achieve them and what i even learned it is that if it's kind of like great to have the attitude that if if you're not going to do it yourself then no one else will do that because that kind of many times it applies many times it like i would say only in a few times it doesn't apply uh we are maybe from from very young age at least many many children might be um it applied to me so i just maybe might be generalizing that but just like we are not motivated to change things but we are just like motivated to tolerate things and actually like just just really having the drive to to see a better vision for the things or for the systems that are current in the world and then just really having the drive and confidence that you're actually able to pull this off and to just pull it off and from my point of view is just the world needs more um like education tech uh, i would say and it's like just regardless of what's what's what you're gonna do uh in the next 30 40 maybe even 10 years the world's gonna dramatically change the amount of pleasure that you're gonna be able to experience in a such a short period of time is gonna increase so freaking much uh virtual reality like this thing is gonna be huge the amount of stuff that you're gonna learn it's gonna be great it's gonna increase but at the same time it's just you can be a part of that you can be part of that growing market you can be part of that so maybe just my points of view on that but just just to finish off also the other four points because i get speaking about 40 minutes just about one point of, um, because it was so so comprehensive and i would say like even one of the most important f- f- for me personally just to uh, share this that okay great you achieve something and this i mean like i know this feeling you know before like i the same feeling that i experienced when i um, won my bodybuilding competitions, get back from European championships, and I just really started thinking, okay, what's next? I just thought, okay, ma- I made it. But then I just like got into such a negative spiral that, okay, I know that right now, okay, it's like just we are keeping the 16 hours straight. Now, um, today we were pulling 17 hours. Yeah, that's great. We're, we're like 17 and a half hours for today. Such a, such a pleasurous day. Never mind. It just keeping the, ship tight regardless of what's happening like you're winning keep moving you're losing keep moving that's the same that that's that's the, like the cornerstone of everything but let's just sh- circle back to the to the first points first four points so that we can finish this off and and yeah so the point number one where we started this is like um maybe like what has education given me so far in terms of my whole journey I would say that there is, as I already stated in the beginning, that there is this big schema in the world 
uh, something that maybe very similar to what Andrew Tate, uh, if you know him, that's like that old guy on social media that's everywhere right now or a year ago has been everywhere. And and essentially, like many people promoting the screw school screw school mood or attitude. Um, the fact with social media is that in generalization that many people right now, the younger people, that they're starting to associate themselves with those kind of people that might not be the best mentors for them, I would say from many, many ways. It's just like you're start you're starting you like young people I, I definitely apply it to myself that you're just like teaching strategies or you're learning strategies from people who have little competence in the actual things who are just shooting videos and doing that because it's actually a great market opportunity for you to sell other uh, stuff to other people regardless of whether that's good or bad you have many influencers who are selling or being affiliated with um and sponsored by different gambling companies and just like a lot of weird stuff that screws you up even more so yeah like screw school attitude and like my point of view on this is that i honestly don't think that having more unskilled people will help us in any way and i know this it's just like you have it's like the kind of mentality when you that you have when you're rejection education is that you just feel that you're too good good to you're either feeling that you're too good to be educated like you're you're above those people who are educated or on the other hand you feel that you're like too bad or you have certain like bad character traits which disable you the like acquiring of like the efficient acquiring of information or how to say that so i feel that like just both of them are kind of weird and in terms of even the Andrew Tate scheme, I already started speaking about this. It's like there have been so many mentors in my life who have guided me in the wrong direction. I just really screwed, screwed me for such a freaking, such a freaking long period of time. <clears throat> it's like one person have has essentially just told me that I should focus on my education and finish that, which fast thanks got being the person who I ended up listening to but it was like you have so many different influences going from all around you and these kind of like just just maybe advices you're receiving are not applicable to your specific case because you're living in a whole different country whole different access ecosystem maybe everything else everything is different even in the if you compare Europe to the US you can't compare that in the US kids end up paying 300 300k for a normal undergrad degree i have it pretty much for free it's just like you have so many freaking differences in all the different countries so an advice that i would give to you is or advice i would give to a kid maybe living in, in slovakia would be way different than i would maybe give a gift to someone living in the u.s whatever it's the same like generalized advice is very bad and it's very hard to just apply to specific case so i don't really think that it's something that people should be just just putting a lot of um effort and just like giving credibility on so that that's the groundwork here then point number two how would i approach it if i would do it again advice to my younger self uh, maybe like 17 18 year old self the, the first thing is like go all in go freaking all in if something is worth doing then it's worth doing great it's it's worth doing excellent just just stop doing so many different things like fitness is great um social media is great but at the same time like just for example in terms of school like those are just some like driving skills that they are going to be pr propelling you in the future maybe i'm sounding too adult here but essentially like that that's what it comes down to you want to do business i have many many examples of that and i've really mainly saw that many people that i uh like kind of end, ended up working for me at a certain period of time and for example i hired one um like, like just kind of video guy who, who was working for me and um he was helping me edit videos and the worst part was that actually like he was supposed to add, add subtitles there and he wasn't probably really good at, uh, at, at like just, just languages and spelling it and all the, these different things and i just like asked him to do a few trial trial videos and 
then like just before hiring him just to be sure that i actually hire someone who's competent i always have certain proce procedures that i'm following and after like a day or so he sent me those three videos and what i saw is like just pretty much every single sentence of those subtitles had so many grammatical mistakes that i couldn't even read that and like like just from the perspective you are delivering something in a worse quality because you are expected to deliver something in a way better quality and just like these are the underlying skills and like i would say like there are two kinds of problems here because i i for example wasn't motivated at all just to be learning this these things in school there are many reasons for that in terms of maybe just being surrounded by um not being in the right environment for that even though i was in a private school i would just feel that maybe not being explained the reason why is important but at the same time not being really excited about the reason why that's important for me specifically maybe that's kind of like the thing i was always just striving for like just creating even a compelling vision for me for myself why actually the thing that i'm working on it's something important and something to be excited about and only once you have something you're excited about then it's worth actually pursuing that um yeah just like that's something i'm a big proponent of just not doing stuff because you should be doing stuff but actually doing something because it's something you excited that, that excites you so go all in go freaking all in and be the best just choose a few things you're going to be doing but be the freaking best um, yeah, for me, no party striving for excellence, good, good opportunities to test your limits and force yourself to do something you don't like to do. And you'll need this a lot down the road, just really essentially just going straight against the things you hate doing and looking them straight in the eyes and just like poking the eyes and just like going straight forward. It's, it's the, the most important things, like regardless, I like... Those things are, are gonna end up in your toolbox and you, you're gonna use them some, sometime down the road. It's just, could be great for you. Sorry, I'm just like, uh, kinda getting a bit tired here, but I'm just gonna finish the room. Um, two more points to go through. Great, so uh, point number three, what masters or what master degrees I was really thinking of, thinking of uh, doing. Um, generally, there have been a few of them. Be I was choosing between masters in management, finance, uh, like management, the master masters in finance, and masters in marketing. Those were my main priorities here. The reason why was that, like finance, that's very important in business. There was even masters in management, which was we have like a special degree. What that's called SAMS. <laughs> Um, not sure, like the, it's an international organization. You are spending uh, half a year in a different university somewhere around the world and very prestigious. And you're pretty much getting a very good grasp of all the different topics and management, being able to manage people. And then I have also applied to marketing. And the reason uh, marketing for now has been my main priority, even though I, I've been contemplating a lot about these different kind of programs. And for me specifically, it's just like based on all of the things that I've been doing in the past and maybe just based on all of the things that I'm currently even good at, I just really feel that I have pretty much prepared myself pretty good on marketing since I have been working in this field from like, like just maybe six years or so just really doing doing all of these things as well as maybe all of the things that I've been really I really liked doing when I was maybe like from like six years old I was wanted to perform that was kind of like my thing and just being able to speak to people and sell I, I love sales sales systems just speaking to people and just relating re creating relationships and I even wrote it down somewhere I'm not sure if I wrote it down to, to my notes today earlier is just like I, I like creating stuff um or I just like I like identifying what I, I'm not sure if I yeah yeah like I really I really feel that marketing is very close to psychology and really understanding people and what they like and giving it to them for an exchange as like maybe this is a great summary of why I essentially like like marketing why why it's yeah you know, I just like had it written here in my notes so I just really feel that 
once you identify something that you're really passionate about, or maybe like once you once once you already pour like five thousand hours of actual work and ex have five thousand hours of experience in something, then you're gonna be so freaking good at it that it's it's just gonna grab you in and uh, you'll be able to to just to, to just roll with that. And even in terms of for me and like just just the next ten years, how I really see that is that the world will become more interconnected and more equal if we tackle it right. That, for example, the role of ownership will be redefined. Like, it will be redefined. Even the the, the role of actually owning stuff. Because, like, maybe now the society and the hierarchy and everything else is re just really built on, okay, if you own a lot of stuff, then you're, like, the big boss here. But I would, like, argue that even the, the reasons or even the, the kind, of like, kind of like concept that you own a car in the next 10 years will be redefined. The reason for that, there might be self-driving cars in the next 10 years. When you when you are in Las Vegas or San Francisco or somewhere else, you just always see these self-driving cars there all the time. And it's like just a real thing there. Uh, taxi, I, it's, it's slowly picking up. And that's the first thing. And then the second thing, it's like you're gonna have ride sharing. You can see how sharing economies are changing the world and in a positive way, in a, such a freaking positive way. Uh, I remember when I was young, I was taking taxi um, once once in a while and always when I took a taxi in my city, I just hated it so freaking much. Those people were weird. Um, it, it was just like so freaking weird. But now I, as I'm taking Uber, and pretty much all the places where I took Uber, um, it was just like so freaking good. You always know how much you'll pay. You don't need to worry about anything. You can just give a, a... You just feel like you have kind of like more control and you're more free and you can call them whenever you want. You don't need to speak to someone, to anyone. There is like a very easy interface you can use. You can even compare the charges. You can even like just choose which kind of car you'd like to prefer. So it's just like so freaking great. This is the first this is the first thing and even like in terms of Airbnb like I just like Airbnb has even changed my life I hate going to hotels they're uh, so expensive compared to the actual things you you, you receive I, I like rather than going to a hotel and just paying for all the stuff that I actually don't even need it just like I, I just like, find way more value and even peace and just renting an apartment whenever I want wherever I, wherever, wherever I want very simply and just going there and the whole the the next concept that's that's gonna just redefine the world will be ride sharing or essentially just car sharing that now 95 percent of all the time or maybe like depends on specifically the car and the owner like usually around 90 percent of of the time like just you own a car or maybe 95 it, it's just sitting in a parking lot it's not being used it's like the utilization there is very low and in the next 10 years, like once you'll have the driving cars, what might happen is that, okay, you come into a parking garage and you just randomly jump into a certain car and start driving. Or maybe the car car will start driving you <clears throat> in itself and it'll just drive you somewhere and then you, you'll just like jump out. And, and then, for example, you'll end up in a different shopping mall and then you once you once you'll want to just take another car, and then in the parking garage, you'll, you're just going to take a different car. And... It, and, and like that's that that system of ride sharing, it's just gonna redefine the the entire world. Because even for now, like what's the main main thing? What's the main reason why you want a car? Maybe you want to feel that you you have the freedom, you can go wherever you want. And just I mean, like if we would be able to do this in a very similar way, that but actually everything would be redefined. That that would be a way way more efficient operations. That that's a, like it's a long shot, but I really see that this this could happen even in terms of like just speaking with a few experts and just reading a bit more literature on this. This this really seems like a good idea for the future. It's so really like like there will be just so many different um, even in terms of like AI industry. Like AI industry is is bound to be like. 10x like in terms of the volume in the next 10 years of how much all the stuff how much revenue will be created how much value will be created and all of this value is waiting for some people some some experienced people uh who will be able to tackle that value and even like for me why why do i really see that the like the potential and or just helping other people unlock their potential is the biggest uh, lever here is that okay I'm as a person able just to work certain amount of hours 
throughout the day. I know that based on all of the things I've done so far until the age of 22, it kind of like gives me a pretty good perspective on how I feel all the things could be tackled. And I really see that rather than me going forward on certain things, I'm, I'm, I'm like just going to definitely go for them. But at the same time, I just really feel that if I'm able to just create maybe like 10, 10 other people would be on sale level as I am, or maybe 100 or 1000, like just there would be so much more positive impact created in the world. Like for example, one person would be focused on biology and he would just really tackle the, like the, the, the essential, like the, the thing with, with maybe like a sustainable production of meat and just like all of these different things would be tackled one after each other. And um, in the next 10 years, we can be living in a whole different world. So just just a great vision. Yeah, and what else is here? There was even this like AI course in terms of like the university courses, like course and a bachelor's course in artificial intelligence that I was really thinking of the, uh, taking at the same time as I'm like just doing these marketing masters. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that, but it's like, it, it's kind of big tall. You, you should just devote 3,000 hours to, towards that in a year. And when you're working and doing a lot of stuff, it's just like you're you're working all the time. It's it, it's a lot. Then, yeah, I guess like maybe just just to end it off, end this off, like how does all of this play with my long term focus? And I really feel that as I explained before, like marketing is something that I really uh, pretty much love or just got to love. I, I would say, um, just based on the experience that I had, and even in terms of how we were able to influence other people, just to make certain decisions that are good for them and also for the, for the better of the world. I just really feel that. This kind of like a great, great path for me, and also just just to be able to contribute the biggest impact to to other people as well. Yeah, uh, so a bit longer episode for today. If you have any other questions, any other remarks, any other topics that you'd like me to cover, feel free to shoot me a message on my Instagram, Jacob Dark And with that being said, it was great speaking to you, and I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Bye.